Welcome to linuxhelp.com. For today's topic, I will show you how to configure Telegram with the NetData CPU and RAM load alert. NetData is a distributed real-time performance troubleshooting and health monitoring platform for infrastructures of any size. The entirely free open source agent works in collaboration with NetData Cloud to provide visibility into the performance of both single nodes and entire infrastructures. And on the other hand, Telegram is a messaging app with a focus on speed and security. It's super fast, simple, and free. You can use Telegram on your devices at the same time. So now I will see how to configure Telegram with NetData. Let's move to the process. So now I am on my Linux machine. First of all, I will check install version of OS on my system. It's a Red Hat 7.6 version. So first and foremost, if I want to get alert on my telegram for the net data CPU and RAM load alert, I have to do some process on the telegram account. Just like I am showing you. First of all, on the telegram, you have to get a bot token. To get one, contact the at rate bot father. father and connect to your and start conversation with him they will send you some set of instructions like slash new bot to create a new bot so i am going to this command to him he'll say i'll write a new bot how will you going to call so please choose a name for your bot i am choosing linux help now, let's choose a username for your bot. Linux help one at the rate bot. So, he gives you the ID. Use this token to access the HTTP API. This is the ID. This is the HTTP API which I have to mention in the net data health alarm notify conf file now for the second thing i will also connect at the rate my id bot my id bot this is the bot start conversation this is the my id bot will send you id for your personal chat or if you want to get id for your group then it will also send you group ID. So to get the group ID, you have to connect this ID bot to your group. Now I'm going to create a new group in which you want to get alert. So to create a new group, I am going to create a new group. Mentioning his name as a server alert. Next, now I'm going to add my ID bot in my group. Create to so my ID bot has been connected to my group. This is my group. So, to get the group ID, I have to send a command like get group ID. There's the command. Then they will send this as your group ID. If you want to get any personal chat ID, so you have to give cat ID command, get ID at the rate my ID bot. Now to receive alert, you also have to connect your bot, which have you created. This you have created and you have to add it in your group now all the information have been collected now i'm going to my terminal i'm moving to my net data location cd slash etc slash slash 
you will find here is health alarm notify con file i am moving to that file using vim command now this is the location where you have to mention for telegram details telegram global notification options if you want to send a message on telegram you have to mention here as a yes for the telegram bot token which i have been created just now you have to mention the telegram bot token at this location so now i'm going to my telegram i have to copy the bot father this is the http api we have to copy there this is the telegram bot token after mentioning bot token you have to give default recipient telegram this is the group id if you if you don't want to mention here group id you can also mention here as a personal chat id it will start with the the group id always started with the hyphen the super group id is start with the hyphen 100 so this is the location where i am going to mention my group id i am going to my telegram now that is okay now write in quit now after that i am going to show you what is the configuration i have done for the cpu and ram load to see the cpu and ram load configuration we have to move in the health.d file here you can do ls minus la you will see there is a file cpu.con file ram.con file so i am just going to show you cpu.con file this is all the credentials i have given here for the warning i have mentioned one to two i have lower all the credentials here because to get the alerts very easily this is for the system cpu uses and this is for the system cpu input output weight this is all the very lower credential i have been given here so that is all okay write and quit after that i am going to show you ram.con file if you see my last videos i have created this entity by my own this is not already configured in the net data configuration file this is the alert for the warning if the cpu load uh, if the ram load increases with the 10 it will show as a warning if it increases with the 20 then it will show as a critical alarm so write and quit now after all the configuration i have to restart the net data service system net data service has been restarted now go to your browser now i am going to load my net data dashboard so this is my net data dashboard you can see all the alarms here the alarm which i configured and the alarm which in the warning stage and the critical stage this is the alarm in the critical stage after configuration of uh, telegram on my net data i will see there that i would have received all the alerts here so now all the alarms are coming on my telegram which i have created the server alert as a group now you can see you are receiving the one minute cpu uses system.cpu alert which is in the critical stage and this is a critical warning so this is a method to receive the alerts at the telegram for the net data cpu and ram load alerts if you like it please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com